Hello and welcome to the first edition of the Virtual Tour de France. ASO and Zwift are happy to be able to offer the riders a playground for the resumption of competition. Over three weekends, the riders face six exciting stages, a starting point also of the Solidarity Tour de France. We start with the women's race on the island of Watopia, a 36.4 kilometre course featuring four laps of a circuit with a hill to climb four times and four intermediate sprints before a fast run to the finish line. All the distinctive Tour de France jerseys are to be won, but this time it's a team competition for each prize. A first attack on lap one was blistering from Italian champion Elisa Longo Borghini. She took a few seconds, scored a few points for the green jersey and was absorbed by the peloton. The Italian repeated the effort on the third lap, crossing the sprint line in the lead again. The most cohesive team, however, were Canyon Schram, who provisionally got hold of the green jersey with more than 50 points collected since the start of the first stage. Bondo Borghini voted the most combative rider of the race. With 10 kilometres to go, around 20 riders were in contention. Chantal Black, the Dutch rider, tried to outwit the peloton using her cloak power-up, becoming invisible to the other riders, but she's caught. The mountains classification was also a tussle between drops rider Joss Loudon and Erica Magnaldi of Chiratsit WMT. Loudon led the third time up the climb. As we ran to the finish, eight riders stood out, but it was British rider, 19-year-old April Tacey, who won in front of Chris and Faulkner, the American, and Chantal Black of Bowles Dolmans. Yeah, I had the air rip out and I hit it with about 300 metres to go, and I just gave it my all. <laughs> the same route was used for the men's race, 92 riders at the start, a short and nervous stage worthy of a classic, and in the peloton we find Michael Matthews, Greg Van Avermaet and Edvold Bosenhagen, but also the new terror of the peloton, Mathieu van der Poel. The cyclocross specialist will like this 36 kilometre course. The favourites rode at a high pace on the first stage, 30 riders in the lead, including Mike Turnerson, the first yellow jersey of last year's Tour de France. Team Mitchelton Scott is the first to take action with last year's Tour de France stage winner Dara Limpi. The South African pockets the first intermediate sprint and remains visible during the stage. Some riders also tried their luck on the circuit, including Raphael Valls of Bahrain McLaren. Alperson Fenix, with cyclocross star Philip Valsleben, is also there and seemed keen to get the green jersey. The outcome seems inevitable. A bunch sprint, maybe, with a group of 20 riders at the front before the last ascent of the stage. The riders take turns using power-ups to try and get out of the group, but on the descent it all comes down to a sprint, but the rider with the power-up and the leg power is South African champion Ryan Gibbons of NTT, who speeds ahead to take the win. Second, Rally Cycling's Canadian peer Andre Cote, with Nick Schultz of Mitchelton Scott in third. Oh, truly, truly overwhelmed. I mean, it's, it's such a great initiative and it's really exciting to have something like this. Um, I bet everyone's been missing a lot of racing, I know we have, and uh, yeah, to be part of, not only part of it, but to win the first stage, it's truly special. Join us tomorrow for stage two of the virtual Tour de France, a route that will be a little more hilly. Bye for now.